Get ready for College Hoops 2K8. The Georgetown Hoyas take on the Seton Hall Pirates. Welcome aboard, everyone. We're getting ready for quarterfinal action. We are here at the Carrier Dome. Along with Tracy Wolfson and Bill Raftery, I'm Vern Lundquist. What's your take on this, Bill? I'll really be watching the matchup at the four spot. Number 23 is arguably the best power forward in the nation today. He's got that special knack for finding the open man and he can pick defenses apart. Pickett is also a capable power forward. He's got tremendous hops, and I'm sure it won't be long before we see him send it in with reckless abandon. Both looking to lead their teams to a win. We'll see who succeeds. It up, passed on the way up, and he'll get two shots at the line. Shooting two. Knocks down the first one. Gets the second to fall as well. Number 11 inbounds the ball. Pick it. McClung gets it. Top of the key. Ball, ball, ball. Close out, close out. Play strong. Number 11. They're going to have to hurry. Get it out of there, big fella. You have to protect the line at that time. They tried to sneak one to one. The big guy has spoken. Watch the spread. Catches it. High post. Powell passes it to the right wing. Down low. Good for the shot. And the fans are loving it. He's got two. Number 11. Leads him with the pass. Picking the away. Sends it back. Oh, he really is safe. This is to the top of the beam. Misfired on the last three. Finding the 23. A second three. Packs on the free throw for the three-point play. Number 11 inbounds the ball. Let's check in with our sideline reporter, Tracy Wilson, who has some info for us. Thanks, Vern. A little while ago, I talked with Coach Hall. I asked him if it's possible for his players to get too fired up for a game like this, the first game of the postseason, and he said, well, sure, but it makes my job easier. There's no need for pep talks or big speeches when it's conference tournament time. That's one way to look at it, Vern. Thank you, Tracy. Number 11 has it out left. Dishes, baseline. Pick it. Puts it up. Can't put an end to the run. McKnight. Catches it, right wing. What you gonna do? Yeah, baseline, baseline. Powell bounces it to the strike, releases. The baseline jumper not there by number 21. They still have a seven point lead. Hope's free, and it's controlled by Seton Hall. I like how he gets himself into defensive position at the right place, right time yet again. That last three corner was missed by number 23. Swings it to the wing, but it's recovered by Pickett. Number 11. Ball, ball, ball. Crosses it over. Number four. 
gets it right wing from the baseline. Gill snatches it from way above the rim. Oh, the big fellow with a tough rebound. No denying him on that one. Gill goes up. Lazy blunder. They push the lead to nine. Number 11 inbounds the ball. Number four dumps it off. Number five on the left block hits it. They've got it within seven. Georgetown really knows how to put the ball in the basket. They have a great offensive mindset and can put points up in a hurry. Has it down low. The jumper was buried by number 23. By nine. Top of the key. I got him, I got him. He back to Yo, who got the left McClung feeds it to the wing. Pickett gets it down low. Right around 16 minutes left in the half. They're set up in minimum. Skip pass, down low. Number 21. Well, let's get back to the action. Number 11 inbounds the ball. Nice pass. Powell brings it up the floor. Number 23. Catches it on the free throw line. Wonderful defense. I guarantee that's going to be in the back of their heads next time. They're going in for a shot. Number four. Dumps it to the middle. Pass inside shot. Very by number five. Passes like that make it so easy for the shooter. Passes it down low. Powell. He gets hammered. Go ahead with the strike. Shooting two. He gets the ball. Number 11 inbounds the ball. Pickett hands it off. Bounces it to the right. Backs down. Dangerous pass. Number five. It's good. Nice lead pass to set that one up. And they now trail by five. Number 21 has it middle. Unloads. They're up 17 to 10. Number four crosses it up court. Pass left wing. Double clutches. Snatched inside by number 11. Get it out of there, big fella. You have to protect the lane, and that time they tried to sneak one through. The big guy has spoken. Powell gets it left side. Gill backs him down. Number 23. This is it. Cross court. Right wing. Number 21. Yanks it down inside. I love the strength. He got through the foul. No problem. That will give him the three point chance. Takes the three-point throw. Number 11, inbounds the ball. Stolen by number 23. Hands it up. Skips it to the top of the field. I'd love to see that. He's looking around in the house. Such a deep Gill comes the double team. McKnight from 20 feet up. Gets it to go. And they're now out in front by 12. Feeds it to the high post. Pickett has it on the strike. Dishes right wing. The basket was nailed by number 11. But they're still behind by nine. 
Just over 13 minutes left in the half. Gill backs him down. His first shot of the game. And nine. Well, it looks like they're getting set to inbound the ball. Right wing. Passes it back for a side. Leads him in. Number five. Jams it in. They make it a single digit game. Number 21. Inbounds the ball. McKnight brings it up the floor. Howell. Deflects the pass. From inside. They now lead by 11. Pickett has it, baseline. Number four, dumps it off. Bounce pass, outright. McClung takes it up. Great finish it back. And they're now behind by nine. Seton Hall has had serious problems with their interior defense. And Tracy has a report from their bench. Coach Hall is definitely aware of that problem. He told his assistants that they have to bring more defenders into the paint, even if it means leaving the paint Number five is it off. Number eleven catches it outright. Four misses to the right side. Dumps it to the paint. Terrific move. Good job on the layup and into five. But they're still down by seven. Just over 11 minutes left in the half. It looks like they're playing man to man. Number 21. Great pass. Bounces it to the baseline. Snatched by Gill. That offensive rebound didn't come to him by accident. He knew right where to be. Shooting two. Makes the first substitution. Both teams are going to shake things up a little bit with some subs. He gets the second two ball as well. The Pirates will bring out some reserves. Blair inbounds the ball. They're going to double team him. Watch baseline. Knocked loose. But it's recovered by Blair. Stolen by number 14. About 10 and a half minutes left in the half. McKnight gone deep. Five twelve. Listen to the crowd burn. This kind of excitement is why I love college basketball. Lob, left block. Let's it go. Got the whistle and he'll shoot a whole free throw. Second to fall as well. Number 23 inbounds the ball. Howell dumps it off. Number 14 fades away. Swish. They're in front, 33 to 21. McClung passes it up court. Gets it left side. That's, it foul. That's his second personal foul. Second team foul. Shooting. Ooh. Knocks down the first two. Number one makes his first appearance. Gets them both. Number
number 23, inbounds the ball. Skips it to the right wing. Number 14, the crossover. Shooting two. This is the first. Good, number two. The Hoyas will take a timeout here. Spread, spread it out. McClung. Switch, baby, switch. Stolen away. The D was really waiting for him there. That's how you do it. Keep the heat on. Wait for the misstep, and then capitalize. Pickett has it down low, hooked away, and it's scooped up by number 14. Again, he's making big plays on defense to help his ball play. What cagey instincts on the defensive end. Goes to the crossover. Shooting one and one. Can't sink the substitution on the Robinson to make his first stand off the bench. He sinks the second. Robinson inbounds the ball. McClung puts it up. Gets the three-pointer to go. He's got five. Right around nine minutes left in the half. Number 14. Powell passes it to the right wing. Last tray off the mark by number 14. He'll make that one most of the time. Well, the D got a break on that one. Ball, ball, ball. Left wing. Kicks it out to the outside. McClung. Dumps it off. Number four gets it far side. Last shot missed from three point range. A steal by Sidney Number 15 hangs it up. Power. He gets hammered. Go ahead to the strike. A little too aggressive right here. I like that he's not afraid to be physical. That was too much. He makes the first substitution. Both teams are going to make some substitutions. Georgetown wants to go big and bring on a post player to give them some extra size. He gets the second to fall as well. Pickett inbounds the ball. Feeds right wing. Goes up. Definitely a block. Just got a little too physical trying to draw the charge. He can't get the first. Good on number two. Right around eight minutes left in the half. There's no question what kind of defense the ring burns. Number one, three. Stolen away by Pickett. It's one on one. Leads him in. Such great instincts. He knew exactly where the ball was going. Last shot from 19 feet, made by number four. He did a nice job of determining what the defense gave him, and he took it. We see it so often that area from 10 to 15 being a sweet spot. Gill fires. Can't get the jumper to fall. But they're still up by eight. Pick it out, pick it out. 
Switch up, switch up. Number five. Count it. He'll have a chance to get three points. He needs to make sure he gets a piece of the ball, too. He's going to have him take the two points here. Number 21. He'll come off the floor. Shot is good for a three-point call. Right around seven minutes left in the half. Passes it to the left. Collected inside by number five. He did a real good job to stay that close on a shooter. Just getting a hand up will bother most players enough to make the miss. Them both. Number one inbounds the ball. The Pirates will try to put a stop to this run. The Pirates will take their first time out. Number 22 catches it right wing. Pass right side. It's deflected and it's gathered up by number five. Oh, with the quick hands, before they even knew what hit them, he made off with that one. Four. 
Robinson beats it to the wing. McKnight grabs the rock. Right around five minutes left in the half. McKnight did a good job to grab that rebound. Perfect position that time. Last rebound of game by number 22. Georgetown is having real turnover problems. Tracy, do you have something for us on that? The Hoyas coach stood in front of the bench a moment ago and said if we can hold on to the ball any better than this, there is no way we can win this game. Guys, he's trying to get his message across loud and clear. Thanks, Tracy. Right wing launches it. Nice work by the big fella to get that rebound. Robinson tries the spin move. That last 15-footer was no good. I got ball, I got ball. McKnight, Close up. number one, shoots it. Makes it for 19. They're now out in front by nine. Skip pass, low block, goes up. Gets it to go. He's got a chance to have one move. Third for the three-point play. Hill inbounds the ball. Under four minutes left in the half. They've got their defense and it's in a minute. Ball, ball, ball. Leads him with the pass. Stop. The Pirates will retain possession. Number 32 makes his first appearance. Okay, pick him up, pick him up. Get him, get him, he's going inside. I'm open. Get on him. Gill has it right wing. Number 23 comes up empty from the wing. Still a six-point lead. By yourself, by yourself. Two diagonal. Right wing. Get the ball, get the ball. Get the perimeter. Intercepted by number 22. I'd love to see that. He's looking around then. Pounce. Such a deep burn. One on one. Number 23. Bounces it to the left wing. And it's out of bounds. Last touch by Georgetown. Number 23 inbounds the ball. Gill gets it right ball. Just couldn't find any room to move down there. That's about the only way to stop him. Fish left block. And it's gathered up by number 22. The intercept. What great reflexes. He pounced in and picked that one off easily. Beautiful work to fight through that foul and get to the line for the three opportunity. One possibility. Two shots. On the free throw for the three point play. Let's up, let's go. Number 34. Dig 87 dig. I got the three. Number five passes to the wing. Switch man, switch man. I got your man there. Number four. Two out, two out. Number five yeah. catches it right side. That last shot buried from 15 feet. Two ten left in the first half. Passes right wing. The steal by number thirty four. The D was really ready to go there. That's two minutes. Get the heat on. Wait for the misstep and then capitalize. McKnight sensational play. The Pirates will retain possession. Howard is back in the game after a short rest. Number 23 inbounds the ball. Has it right wing. Out left. Gill backs down. It's off the mark by number 23. But they're still out in front by seven. Dishes it to the wing. Number four. Tip 
kicked away. But it's recovered by number four. Bounces it to the left wing. Wilson gets it left side. Feeds right wing. Robinson takes a three. Gets it to four. They close the gap to four. 58 seconds left in the first half. Number 22. McKnight beats it to the top of the key. Number 22 goes up. Nice job on the assist by number 22. They take a six-point lead. Number four tosses it up court. Knocked loose. And it's picked up by Sidney Hall. I'd love to see that. He's looking around this pass. Such a deep run. Gill has it top of the key. Power. Left wing, McKnight picks it up, hammer, and he will go to the line. Shooting two. He can't get the foot to pick it. He's needed out on the floor. He didn't get much of a rest. on the second. Throws it up. Oh, and the shot by number four. And they're now down by four. And here headed to halftime with the score 52 to 48. What do you think of the first half, Bill? I can't think of too much good to say about this game, so Vern, maybe you can do play-by-play -play and color. Now we'll bring you our player of the half. Who's your pick, Bill? Gill is having a sensational game on the offensive boards. He's got more offensive rebounds than almost anybody else has rebounds. It takes a gutsy kind of player to battle as hard as he has on the glass. Tremendous effort from our player of the half. Pickett inbounds it to start the second half. Dishes to the top of the key. Wilson. Beats it to the right wing. McClung has it high post. Dish out left. Number 11. Right wing. Dishes to the wing. Number 11. He rips down the rebound. Great rebound. The big fella's not afraid to do the dirty work, Burn. Gill shoots. There's a whistle. Misses, but he'll get two shots from the line. Inbounds the ball. Wilson from eight feet. He rips down the rebound. Finishes oh, nicely down low on that last shot. He gets up close and personal and closes the deal. Leaves no room for error and no room for anybody to do anything about it. Last tray off the mark by number 22. Number 11 from D. Missed. I don't think he'll miss many more of those looks. Feeds it to the top of the key. Gets it to four. He's one for two from deep. Picked off. The intercept. What great reflexes. He pounced in and picked that one off easily. 
Number 22 gets it right wing. Passes to the free throw line. Number 23. Powell swings it to the wing. Passes it to the left. Gill from the baseline. Foul hard. He sinks the second. Number 11 inbounds the ball. Pickett dishes it to the right wing. Number four has it on the inside. Big time rejection. It seems like nothing can destroy this guy. But he will destroy you in a heartbeat. Oh, look at the physicality. Pounded through the contact and hit. Blair takes the on the floor. Number 22 takes the shot. Sit down. Georgetown is really struggling. Feeds outright. Pump loose. But it's recovered by Pickett. Wilson. Ripped away. Oh, look at quick hands. Before they even knew what hit them. He made off with that one. Number 22. Feeds it to the left wing. Misfired on that last three by Powell. This crowd is going insane. I love the energy of this building. Listen to them. Right side. Backs in. Foul! That's his first personal foul. First team foul. them both. Number 23 inbounds the ball. There's no question what kind of defense they're in, Vern. Minimum. Passes it to the top of the key. Powell from about 19 feet. Nothing but net. He's two for five for the game. Right around 17 minutes left in the second half. Number 11 dumps it to the inside. Wilson, seven feet out. First first he gets hammer. Second head to the strike. Shooting. Nails it! He gets the second to fall as well. Gill gets it out left. Georgetown is really struggling. Number four leads him with the pass. Has it in the paint. He fouls him. Second to fall as well. Gill inbounds the ball. Right wing, number 22, with the shot. Gill takes it up. Offline with the layup after the quick pump fake. 
They still have a seven-point lead. Wilson bounces it to the wing. Passes left side. Blair has it right wing. Kapika finishes with the soft touch. They got on this roll a while ago and just haven't looked back. Powell skips it to the left side. Knocked free, but it's recovered by Seton Hall. Up the mark from the land, but they still lead by five. Number four, throws in Allen. Knocks down the trifecta. He's shooting 57% for the game. Seton Hall calls timeout. Well, let's get back to the action. Number 23, inbounds the ball. Passes inside. Gill, he fouls him. Count it. And the foul. You see the guy foul hard or don't foul at all. He can't just give up easy three-point plays. Knocks it down. Intercepted. Power takes it up. Fouled hard, and he'll take a trip to the line. He got hacked pretty hard on that shot. We'll see if he can convert from the line. Ooh. He gets it! Robinson didn't sit for long, and he's coming back into the ballgame. Inbounds the ball. The steal! Number 23. Such a great instinct. He knew exactly where the ball was going. Why not? Pickett. Feeds it to the left wing. Number four, Robinson shoots it up. Can't put an end to the run. Catches it inside. Number 23. These fans are loving it. We got a packed house in here, and they're going ballistic. They lead 72 to 61. Number four, four three. The offensive rebound by Wilson. Just too much contact there, Murray. You're not going to get away with it if you affect the shot that much. He misses the first. Two. Gill inbounds the ball. Number 23 hands it off. Dishes it to the wing. Bounce pass to the elbow. Number 22 backs him down. Knocked loose, but it's recovered by number 22. Powell tosses it up. He snatches it off the glass. Number 23, the monster slam. He's got 10. About 13 and a half minutes left in the second half. They're getting set to inbound the ball. Reach. Pickett inbounds the ball. Has it right wing. Number four passes to the left wing. Ooh. 
Left wing. Lead pass inside. Pickett races up. Second to fall as well. Number 32 inbounds the ball. Number 23. Dishes it to the strike. Powell has it cross court. The crossover. Skip pass. Right block. Powell. A huge blunder on that three second violation. Number four, passes it up court. It's deflected, but it's retrieved by Blair. And it's scooped up by the 24. Way too much activity down there, he forgot to squeeze it. Always protect the ball, man. Hasn't had a good game so far, and he's going to sit down for a while. He gets the ball. Blair inbounds the ball. The Hoyas are really struggling. Number five. A good look by Blair. 23 points, and he leads all in scoring. Powell goes up, hammer, and he will go to the line. He gets it. Substitution player will head to the bench. Number 34 inbounds the ball. Just over 12 minutes left in the second half. Stolen by number 21. This team is taking complete control of the game. We're moving into blowout territory, man. Deflects the pass, but it's recovered by number 34. Dumps it to the middle. The steal by Seton Hall. That wasn't much of a look. You could see that one coming before he released it. That was quite by Powell. Georgetown is struggling on defense, and Tracy has a quick report from their bench. The Hoyas coach has been extremely agitated and just told his guys, we can't put a stop to this one hit or run a roll. Guys, he's looking for more aggressive play on his defense. All right, Tracy. Number 23, from about 19 feet. Number five, hauls it in. That's his sixth rebound of the game. The student section is whooping it up now. How much fun are they having? You know exactly where you are when you hear that sound. These fans are wild. There's no more you hit for me. He sinks the second. 
Number 32 inbounds the ball. Howell with the crossover. Tosses it up. The 18-footer was missed by number 23. They still have a 17-point lead. Dishes, cross court. Robinson with plenty of space. Right in the bottom of the bucket. But they're still behind by 15. Has it high post. Number 23 passes it to the right. This game plan is simple. Just get him the ball. Substitution. He's your main guy. Lethal. He is so hard to defend. Georgetown is really struggling. McClung dumps it off. Dishes to the paint. Knocks it loose. And it's picked up by Seton Hall. A friend is making big plays on defense to help his ball. What instincts on the defensive end. Number 11, from 8 feet, number 23, gets the board inside. He tried to sneak it in over the trees and just missed. That's when you want to play inside out. Locate the open man on the perimeter. The Hoyas need to find some answers here. Dicey pass. He keeps them away up, and he'll get two foul. shots at the line. Team foul. the first he gets the second to fall as well Hill inbounds the ball number 23 number 21 takes it up he gets hammered a little head to the strike Uses the crossover. He misses the first. Georgetown is really struggling. Number four hands it off. McKnight gets it outside. Dumps it to the paint. 
Number 23. Catches it, baseline. McKnight bounces it to the wing. Anticipates the pass. Right around eight minutes left in the second half. The D was really waiting for him there. That's how you do it. Keep the heat on the bar. Wait for the misstep. And then capitalize. Left wing, number 23. No one around him. Corrals the miss. The Hoyas can cut it to single digits. Number four makes the shot. Cuts the lead to single digits. They make it a single digit game. Number 21 inbounds the ball. Swings it to the left wing. Howell. Dishes it to the high post. Gill gets it down low. They rule this one goaltender. Count the shot. The play is bringing some players from off the bench. Just over seven minutes left in the second half. Sizing up his man. Pass. High post. Number four. Catches it. High post. Number 11. Releases. Number five. Throws up. Capitalized on the offensive rebound. They're now behind by nine. Nelson skips it to the high post. Backs in. The Hoyas with a lot of momentum. Pickett takes it up. Fouls he went into the jail. He'll have to get his points at the free throw line. One goes to the Two shots. Number 32 was needed out on the floor. He didn't get much of a rest. That's good. Frustrating. They desperately need to narrow the gap, and instead, they come away at me. Court sets. Number 11 inbounds the ball. Georgetown is really struggling. Feeds it to the wing. Knocked free. And it's gathered up by Gill. 25 points, and he's his team's leading score. Under six minutes left in the second half. Kick it. Goes up. The hammer's his fourth first. He will go to the line. Sink the first. Number one. Got a quick reader, but they need him back on the floor. Good on number two. Number one. Inbounds the ball. Number 14 has it right wing. The crossover. Number 32. Flip up and in. Last play. That pass made it happen, Brian. No doubt, Bill. I thought he had a look too, but he wisely dished it off to his teammate. Number four dumps it to the inside. He gets foul. That's his third personal foul.
Hawks the second to fall as well. Number one inbounds the ball. Nelson shoots it. He snatches it off the glass. Taken away. Number 11, way up there. Dishes to the elbow. Number four. Number four. Downtown. He's shooting 66% from three-point range. McKnight catches it, right wing. Nelson puts it up. Oh, and now up by 12. The Hoyers with some difficulties. Feeds perimeter. McClung gets it on the low block. McClung feeds it to the left wing. Number 11. He grabs the rebound. Nice shot missed by number four. Two on one. Nelson takes it up and finishes the break. Nelson. They increase their lead to 14. Right around four minutes left in the second half. He throws it out of bounds. A little overexcited on that look, Vern. It takes precision to throw a pass like that. He's just way off target with that one. Georgetown adds a defender into the mix. They really want to get tough on the defensive end. And then capitalize. Leads him in. Number 23. Releases. That's his third personal foul. Number 23. Looks to have his feet on somehow. He's on the floor in pain, and that looks pretty bad. Well, we'll just have to wait and see how long it sidelines him for. Hopefully, he recovers quickly, man. We'll stay on it and try to get an update on his condition just as soon as it becomes available. are making substitutions. Number 11 inbounds the ball. About three and a half minutes left in the second half. Left wing, number four. From way downtown, can't connect. That was a much quicker shot than they might have liked, but it was a pretty open look, so it's tough to fault him. The Hoyas will try to end this one. Number 21 runs it off. Oh, you think he cares? He couldn't even do what he can. He made off with that one. Gill lets it go. Swish. He's 10 for 15 for the game. The Hoyas have got a lot of ground to make up. Bounces it to the wing from downtown. Reeled in by number 22. They gotta find a way to stop this onslaught. Well, the best defense can be a good offense, and they don't seem to have one right now. Tipped away, and it's scooped up by number four. Leads him in. Four. One plus two shots. The first both teams will make some substitutions. He gets the ball. Both teams are making a few lineup changes. Gill inbounds the ball. McKnight hands it off. Swings it to the right wing. McKnight, nice little crossover. Fouled hard, and he'll take a trip to the line. One plus two. Two shots. Knocks down the 
first team. Both teams are going to make some substitutions. Gets the second team zone as well. Both teams will make some substitutions. The Hoyas have got a lot of ground to make up. Bounce pass. Baseline. Stolen by Seton Hall. The intercept. What great reflexes. He pounced in and picked that one off easily. One clock Going to shake things up in the middle of some subs. He's off on the second. Number 23 was hurt earlier on, and Tracy Wilson has checked on his condition and has this update. Tracy, he the rubbed his ankle pretty badly, Brian. Though it is swelled up, they don't think it's severe enough to be a sprain. He's been cleared to return if necessary. We'll see if they give him the go-ahead to get back on the floor. Back to you guys. Thank you, Tracy. He completes the first point. Number 34 is needed out on the floor. He didn't get much of a rest. Number 14. Catches it on the free throw line. Nelson with the shot. Hits the line. Open shot. By 19. Number 11 inbounds the ball. 125 left in the game. Number four skips it to the left side. Foul. That's his third personal foul. One plus the penalty, two shots. Knocks down the first one. Number five got a quick reader, but they need him back on the floor. Left wing from long range. Number, Barry, number 22. They're in front, 115 to 95. McClung. Pulls the trigger. Almost got it to fall. That foul gives him three foul. shots at the line. One plus the penalty. Two shots. Makes the first of three. Substitution. Both teams are going to make some substitutions. And he nails the third. Number five is back in the game after a short rest. Number one inbounds the ball. Dishes it to the wing. What a pass. Turned away. Get it out of there, big fella. You have to protect the lane. And that time, they tried to sneak one through. The big guy has spoken. Nothing but net on the clung. You know you're a sharpshooter when you hit a shot like that with a defender right in your face. 
One second differential between the shot clock and the game clock. Seton Hall is tied. They're up by 14. 30 seconds left in the game. Crosses it over. Reynolds has it right wing. Skip pass, right wing. Number 24. Gets it right corner. Power hits the play. They should hold on to the lead, Vern. If they play smart, they can walk away with the win. Pick it, the 15 foot. But it is good. He'll have a chance for one more. He needs to make sure he gets a piece of the ball, too. If he's going to foul him that late on an attempt. He can't come away with a three-point play. That'll do it. Seton Hall knocks off the Hoyas, 118 to 103. And now it's time to show you our player of the game. Let's quickly go to Greg Gumbel in the studio with the Pontiac game-changing performance. Thanks, Vern. Welcome, everyone, to the 2K Sports Studios. I'm Greg Gumbel, and we're set to bring you the Pontiac game-changing performance. This was a spectacular piece of marksmanship from beyond the arc. The Seton Hall Pirates used this rare four-point play to catapult the team to a victory. It's incredible to be able to knock down a tough shot like that while being fouled as well. Thank you, Greg. This is Vern Lundquist for Tracy Wolfson and Bill Raftery. We hope you enjoyed this presentation of College